Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Long overdue kind of detail machine polish of my BMW M140. I'm going to show you some of the process along the way from start to finish, and then some of the products we used, and then at the end we'll talk about the kind of final end results.
Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. So I've listed all the equipment and products there that I've used. Really enjoyed this one. Encountered problems that slowed me down. Probably spent about 15 hours in total on this car. Lost about six hours having to redo the bonnet to try and chase some of those, those um, little, what I believe are OEM factory defects, um, which I did another video on and lots of people were kindly helped. We've improved the paintwork a lot on this car, but there are, there, it could be improved further. I could have spent more times on the areas you can't see, like down low, the skirts, some of these black plastic bits. Um, I could have spent more time on those. The problem is, you can't see the swirls down there, especially on that black plastic thing. If I go looking at that black plastic, it will always be covered in sw swirls, because it's the same as the pillars, soft as butter. So I, and it's very awkward to polish because it's kind of hidden away. I just said to myself, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered with to sit down on my knees polishing this black stuff to perfection. Just whiz over it once very quickly, degrease it, put the silica primer polish it at the end, and it, now it looks nice and jet black because it's had that little buff of that that's primer polish. It's jet black, it looks really good. And even if I did spend 45 minutes per piece of plastic on the car, the next time I wash it, it's going to start swirling up rapidly again. Um, so there's certain limitations for me, that things that don't often get talked about. Um, and it's really how much time do you want to throw into this? I could have doubled the amount of time that I've put into this quite easily and done 20 hours, you know, or 30 hours even, or whatever. And there would have been some small benefits to that, especially around little swirl reductions. I would say I got about 95% of the swirls out. It was heavily swirled before I started and it's looking a lot better now. The disappointing thing for me is it out in that bright sunlight, when I brought it out in the blue sky and the sun's on it, the pitting on that front bumper, and uh, not the front bumper, the front bonnet, sorry, is, is bugging me a little bit. And I noticed when the sunlight hit the front bumper, it's even more intense like right at this moment in time than my torches and stuff like that. And I can still see imperfections it made me realize i could have done a better job on the front bumper could have also done a better job on the rear tail section i i could have just spent a little bit more time on that rear tail section it's okay nothing bad um so decent results miss not driving the car for like the last week while it's been garaged and i've been doing this in like small sections so I, really got in the car and took it for a really nice drive and just enjoyed driving it again i've got another track day coming soon as well so probably wasn't the most ideal time to detail it my priority is really to enjoy this car and i'm loving it at the moment i don't know how long i'm going to keep it for um but i i love it um so great car great color and it's been really fun to uh, polish it. So thanks very much for watching, guys. You can see all the products in the process, and this was a kind of collation of all of, kind of lots of footage. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Forensics Detailing channel, and we also have the Forensics Detailing channel Facebook page. Um, drop that a like, because we have lots of interesting conversations on there about other things that you might not see on the channel. So it's a chance to join in those conversations and communicate as well, and fire questions at the channel. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. See you soon. Um, bye for now. Holding on to what I knew But the moment's gone Where was I?